everyone and welcome to this video on requirement analysis for business analyst. As an aspiring business analyst, you must sometimes know what requirement analysis is and what I would have to do with that. Well, you are not alone. Many out there need help understanding requirement analysis, how it's done and the actual need for such a step. If you want to understand the entire process of requirement analysis and what value it holds in the SDLC and the business analysis process, stay with us until the end of this video. Let's quickly understand what business requirement analysis is. Business requirement analysis identifies, understands and documents the need and requirements of a system, application or process. It's a critical step in the software development lifecycle and it's crucial in business analysis as it is a vital component of the requirement gathering process. Business analysts use requirement analysis to clarify a system or application functional and non-functional requirements. These requirements can be collected from stakeholders. Stakeholders here can include project sponsors, domain experts, customers, etc. This can be done through interviews, workshops and survey among other methods. Once business analysts have gathered the requirements, they can analyze the requirements and determine their priority, feasibility and risk. This analysis ensures that the requirements are clear, specific and consistent with the goals and objectives of the project. The need for requirement analysis in the business analysis is to ensure that the system or application being developed meets the need and requirement of the stakeholders and aligned with the project goals and objectives. With a clear understanding of the requirements, business analysts can effectively communicate them to the development team and ensure that the final project meets expectations and deliver value. Welcome to the world of business analysis where every successful project begins with a detailed requirement analysis. This ensures a solid foundation for every project. No matter what domain, today every business analysis definitely requires requirement analysis on beforehand. Today, we will look into the essentials of requirement analysis and learn how it ensures that the end product aligns perfectly with the business goals and delivers value to the organization. Before we get started, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified of our future content. Also, don't forget to like our videos. And if you are someone who is an aspiring business analyst looking for online training, and graduating from the best university or a professional who elects to switch careers with business analytics by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in business analysis from Purdue University in collaboration with Amazon, Google and Microsoft. The course link is in the description box below and that link should navigate you to the homepage where you can find the complete overview of the program being offered. So whether you are an aspiring business analyst or a seasoned professional looking to enhance your skills, please join us on this journey as we unlock the power of business analysis and pave the way for a successful project outcomes. That said, let's get started. So firstly, what exactly is requirement analysis? Requirements analysis is a crucial aspect of the business analysis process, serving as the foundation for successful project outcomes. In this step-by-step -step process, we will guide you through the process of conducting requirement analysis, enabling you to uncover stakeholder needs, define requirements and ensure project alignment with business objectives. Let's dive into, repeat, let's dive into the world of requirement analysis in 10 simple steps, taking one step at a time. First, identify stakeholders. The first step in requirement analysis is to identify the stakeholders involved in the project. Stakeholders are individuals or groups with a vested interest in the project and can influence its outcome. Conduct a stakeholder analysis to determine the key stakeholders and understand their roles, responsibilities and expectations. Next up is elect requirements. Once stakeholders are identified, the next step is to elect their requirements. This involves gathering information about their needs, goals and constraints. Use various techniques such as interviews, workshops, surveys and observations to engage stakeholders and extract relevant requirements. Ensure open and effective communication to foster collaboration and obtain a comprehensive understanding of their expectations. Third step is analyze requirements. After gathering requirements, analyzing and making sense of the information collected is crucial. Identify any conflicts, gaps or inconsistencies within the requirements. Prioritize requirements based on their importance and feasibility. 
Use techniques such as business process modeling, data modeling, and prototyping to further refine and validate the requirements. Moving ahead, we have the fourth requirement, which is documentation of requirements given. Documenting requirements is essential to ensure clarity and alignment among stakeholders. Create a requirement document that captures the identified requirements in a structured format. Include detailed descriptions except its criteria and any supporting documentation. Use visual aids such as diagrams, flowcharts, and mockups to enhance understanding and facilitate communication. The fifth step is validate requirements. Validation is a critical step to ensure that the documented requirements accurately reflect stakeholders and expectations. Conduct reviews and walkthroughs with stakeholders to validate the requirements. Seek their feedback and address any concerns or discrepancies. Validation helps to minimize the risk of misunderstandings and reduces rework during the development phase. So far, we have discussed the five important steps. Before we move ahead with the next five steps, Let's hear from our learners about their success story after getting graduated from Purdue University's postgraduate program in business analysis offered by Simply Learn in collaboration with Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. I have always been passionate about learning new things and improving my teaching skills. About five years ago, I realized that I have a gap in my knowledge, and to fill the gap, I needed to upskill myself. I chose Simply Learn as my upskilling partner because of all its comprehensive curriculum and its connection with Purdue University. Hi, my name is Carlos Linares. I live in Lexington, in the state of Kentucky, in the United States. I am an assistant professor at Midway University, and I hold a PhD in management, human resources, and leadership. I decided to opt for the post-graduation program in business analysis from St. Peter, which has helped me a lot my professional and personal life. I have been teaching even before I moved to the United States seven years ago. I tried to use Excel while teaching research classes, but since I only had the basic knowledge about it and other business and tele students, it was very difficult for me at the beginning. But after completing this class and learning how to use tools like Excel, Tableau, Power BI, Power Query properly, I feel like uh, it has been a total game changer for me. Now I apply these skills everywhere, which has also helped me a lot in my yearly review. I submitted all my certificates to my university and based on that, my university plans to develop a class focused on business analysis starting in fall 2023. And I am really excited. When I finally decided to go for an online program, I researched a lot. And finally, I chose Simply Learn. And I must say, it has been a wonderful experience. If you see how the business world is changing now, and skilling yourself is quite essential to keep up with the change. Everything works on numbers now. Data is more valuable and important than ever. So, I encourage you to keep learning and keep growing. Now, let's proceed with sixth step, managing requirements. Requirements are dynamic and subject to change throughout the project life cycle. Establish a robust requirements management process to handle changes effectively. Implement change control mechanisms to access the impact of requirement changes and ensure that they are properly documented, communicated, and approved. Regularly review the update and requirements as the project progresses. The seventh step is communicate your requirements. Effective communication of requirements is crucial for project success. Develop a communication plan that outlines how requirements will be shared with various stakeholders. Use clear and concise language to articulate the requirements, avoiding any ambiguity or jargon. Leverage visual aids presentations, and interactive sessions to enhance understanding and promote stakeholder buy-in. The eighth step is trace requirements. Requirements traceability ensures that there is a clear link between business objectives, stakeholder needs, and the final solution. 
establish traceability mechanisms to track and manage the dependencies between requirements and other project artifacts such as design documents, test cases and deliverables. This helps maintain the integrity and alignment of the requirement throughout the process life cycle. Now moving ahead, we have the ninth step. Prioritize your requirements. Not all requirements are of equal importance. Prioritize requirements based on their value, urgency and feasibility. Use techniques such as Moscow that is must have, should have, could have and won't have prioritization or Kano model to categorize requirements based on their impact on project success and stakeholder satisfaction. This enables efficient resource allocation and ensures that the most critical requirements are addressed first. And lastly, validate and verify the solution. Once the solution is developed, it is essential to validate and verify it against the documented requirements. So with that, we have come to an end of this session on requirements analysis with business analysis tutorial. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching, stay safe, keep learning and get ahead. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.